Forget glaciers and springs. The bottled water of the future could come from asteroids. There are 326 million trillion gallons of water on Earth. Out of all that water we have, only a small percentage of it is usable because most of it's saltier than your Uncle Frank's vocabulary on a bad day. Less than 3% of the water on Earth is fresh. And a lot of that is trapped in things like glaciers or water vapor or human bodies, so it's not easy to get at. Now here's the good news. All that water is trapped in a water cycle here on Earth. So unless we just decide to spontaneously eject it into space, it's here to stay. We use it for drinking, we use it for bathing, we use it for manufacturing. Most of it goes to agriculture and irrigation, meaning that our water and food supplies are intrinsically tied. If you're enjoying a juicy steak, well, that piece of beef has a huge backstory of H2O involved in it. There was a research group called IRIS that did a study that found that by 2030, our demand for fresh water could outstrip the actual supply. And that is a big problem. Fortunately, we have some solutions on the horizon. One of these is desalination which is great for places that are surrounded by ocean but don't have a lot of fresh water. And the most common way to do this is to take a bunch of seawater and boil it so that the water turns into water vapor, leaving the salt behind. You then condense the water vapor and turn it into drinkable water. In other methods, you press salt water against a membrane that allows the water molecules to pass through but filters out most of the salt. And then there's space. You heard me right, space has water, lots of it as it turns out. In fact, quasars could have literally thousands of millions of tons of water vapor surrounding them. Asteroids might have tons of ice on them, perfect for mining for water. A company called Planetary Resources announced in 2012 that it plans to do exactly that, to mine asteroids for water which is not such a crazy idea if you consider the fact that water may very well be alien in nature. And I don't mean that guys with bumpy heads decloaked their vessel and beamed it down. It's possible that an asteroid loaded with ice collided with Earth, perhaps several asteroids, and that's where our water comes from. In a few hundred years, we might be off this rock. We could be in a spaceship or we might be on another planet, but one thing remains true. We are children of a water planet. We are always going to need water. So we'll need some pretty sophisticated systems as we're jaunting around in space like they have on the International Space Station. Now there, they have recycling systems that will take your urine or even the water vapor you breathe out and recycle it into drinkable water. Sound gross? Well. Guess what you've been drinking? Drink it. Remember, the water cycle on Earth is a closed cycle. The water that we have at our disposal right now has been here for billions of years. So there's a chance that it's passed through a system or two before it got to you. In fact, maybe the water you used to brush your teeth had a few molecules of H2O that passed through a velociraptor's bloodstream. No, this is, this is way more Triceratops than Velociraptor. 